Hello and thanks for joining us on Cyber Africa on Kakati the African Voice and I am Bayero Agari. Cyber Africa is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Learn more by visiting SAP online www.sap.com.ng slash better. The transformation witnessed in the financial sector in Nigeria today is not a peculiar one. World over, the upsurge in the consumption of IT is constantly placing a huge demand on organizations and innovators. Perhaps that is why Dayo Abegunde of Computer Warehouse Group say electronic transactions have overtaken traditional banking, making the financial sector one of the largest consumers of technology. Today, technology has changed the way we work. I mean, that means basically you can work anywhere, anytime uh, at your convenience. But Dayo Abegunde is not alone in this thinking. Sheldon Hand of Cementech underscores the demand occasioned by this IT solutions. Demands which, according to him, has constantly put enterprises on their toes as nearly every click of a button for a transaction either on your PC, ATM, mobile phone or a POS machine adds up the data of your bank. There's a lot more devices. If you look at the, the, the nature of the data on those devices, it's very graphical, it's very feature rich. So the, the size of the data files are quite big. And um, so this is causing our, our data to grow at approximately 60% per annum, which means, you know, every two years our data is doubling. This obviously has a tremendous impact on, uh, on our costs. But while banks work to do more with the vast amounts of data they have about customers, channels and transactions, they also adopt technologies that allow them to store data in the cloud, on devices and in virtual environments all aimed at effective data storage and management. Abekunde speaks again. For banks, the growth in data, that data is being stored and is being used to run the business, mainly around for analytics and also compliance reasons. However, one thing is clear, that is cyber criminals. As technological solutions evolve, Cyber criminals also continue to discover new vulnerabilities and attack on a sophisticated note. The question now needing urgent answer is how would these banks stay ahead of cyber criminals? Sydney Sheldon of Symantec proposed some strategies. Most banks want to, you know, look to achieve, you know, cost income ratios of about forty percent. Having, you know, reliable online banking um, systems via the internet is a key component in being able to deliver world-class banking services at a much lower cost. At this event put together by Computer Warehouse Group and Symantec, it was agreed that a new cashless policy of the CBN called for more efficient, cost-cutting and reliable technologies from banks. This, they say, is one sure way to give customers confidence and reliability. With hundreds of millions of Africans owning mobile phones, citizens are becoming increasingly well connected. This is providing a powerful opportunity for citizens to assess critical information about their parliament and to report on human rights violations, corruption and poor service delivery. These interventions are amplifying the voices of marginalized communities and helping citizens to hold governments to account. I wouldn't say mobile phone penetration has actually helped government to do what is right. But it, what it has done is that it has given the populace an opportunity to be part of this government. In Nigeria, a simple application created by developer Pledge51 enables citizens to access their constitution by mobile phone and so far has been downloaded more than 7,500 times. During protests sparked by last year's fuel crisis, where an increase in the price of fuel resulted in soaring commodity prices, 
This enabled citizens to exercise their rights against police forces. For instance, uh, the past years where we had the subsidy strike, you know, people were able to upload pictures, send messages about different protests around the country, and um, also, you know, follow rallies and all that. So people that weren't part of it also knew exactly what was going on at the... Misinformation fueled this crisis with few citizens understanding the new fuel subsidy payment or oil revenue share in the country. A local organization called Board IT aimed to address this by generating simple infographics which took citizens through this complex process in the visual format. They have more people arguing on an informed note because they can easily access their constitutions on their phone. And so like you can't argue with them that this is this and this is that. And with the mobile bits, at least, um, well, I'll see Nigerian government, the Nigerian government has a passive government because <laughs> there's really a limit to how much people will say and to how much they will change themselves. Sometimes uh, we do our inspections even over the phone. You know where everybody is, you send somebody over just through the use of a mobile phone. You speak to the security man, you know, and then Everything goes out fine instead of you having to drive through the traffic that will take you hours. Come on, it goes well. According to the Nigerian Communication Commission (NCC), the figure of active mobile subscribers in the country is now put at 110.3 million. This public figure, according to some quarters, has helped citizens to better understand the country's budget and to utilize the information to ensure that allocated funds are translated into improved services. Now, having more than 10.3 million Nigerians with access to mobile phones is very, very impressive. In many African countries, youth often feel excluded from the political process, as young people are the biggest consumers of technology. But just like it is done across the world, platforms should be developed locally in Nigeria and Africa at large to enable citizens to use SMS from basic phones to report challenges in service delivery in all facets of human endeavors. That is a show for the week and thanks for being with us. Please log on to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash cyberafrica tv for more reports from across africa and now back to kakaki studio hello i'm bayero agabib as we face the new society driven by data and information, Cyber Africa provides you a trusted platform. Here we understand how telecoms, the internet and the media are redefining our world. From music to tourism, politics to business and education to governance. That's why Cyber Africa trusts you to trust us as we bring you the initiatives, the issues, the actors and the role of ICT in Africa's development. For details, log on to www.aitinfotechnetwork.com or email bayeragabi at aitinfotechnetwork.com or better still, reach AIT Head Marketing, Lagos or Abuja. Cyber Africa, connecting Africa with the new age at this time.